United States of America has imposed sanctions on three Chinese and one Belarusian company over alleged supply of inputs for Pakistan's ballistic missile program. According to a, a U.S. State Department uh, um, disclosure, now the four firms are uh, Belarus's uh, Minsk Wheel Contractor Plant and China's uh, Xi'an Longde Technology Development Company, uh, Shenzhen Creative Source International Trade Company and uh, Grand Pact Company Limited as well. Islamabad has appeared to shrug off the action, saying that listings of commercial entities have taken place in the past without any evidence provided. Meanwhile, the U.S. State Department has in fact detailed the alleged inputs from the four firms. Uh, Pakistan has also in fact insinuated double standards in sanctions. With us on the broadcast to give us further details on this is my colleague Akshit Gupta. has uh, imposed sanctions against entities supplying uh, missile applicable items to Pakistan's uh, ballistic missile program uh, and according to the official statement by the US State Department uh, they have said that the entities uh, included uh, three uh, Chinese companies and a Belarus based firm uh, if I just also tell you about this uh, you know the implications of the sanctions uh, then the United States uh, has said that as a result of uh, the action plan uh, all the property and interest in the property of the designated person uh, described uh, are, are in the uh, U.S. or in possession of uh, control uh, of the U.S. persons are blocked. Uh, and also, uh, it, it's important to understand that, uh, you know, Belarus-based uh, Minsk uh, wheel tractor plant has worked to supply special vehicle uh, uh, to uh, Pakistan's long-range uh, ballistic missile program. And such uh, chases are used as a launch support equipment for ballistic missiles uh, by Pakistan's uh, development complex. Uh, well, uh, uh, also, uh, very importantly, PRC-based uh, Tianjin Creative Force International has supplied missile-related equipment to Pakistan's long-range ballistic missile program. And of course, uh, you know, U.S. has uh, imposed uh, sanctions on them. All right. What is interesting is uh, that last month itself, a Chinese uh, cargo bound for Pakistan uh, was in fact uh, seized at Mumbai's port. Uh, this was suspected to be nuclear uh, cargo. And now uh, the United States of America has imposed sanctions on China. Group Captain Devnath still with us on the broadcast. Do you think uh, that the U.S. is now sending a clear message to both uh, China and Pakistan? We've seen uh, the growing convergences between these two neighbors of ours, although uh, you know, ties are under strain in recent times after uh, the Chinese citizens in uh, Pakistan were in fact killed uh, after terrorists had in fact detonated a bomb in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Uh, do you think the U.S. is now giving a stern message to Pakistan? Oh, yes, Pia. Pakistan is known for collaboration with uh, all the uh, com uh, very, very mischievous and sometimes uh, companies of doubtful reputation in North Korea, uh, in uh, China, and sometimes in other parts of the globe. Uh, what Pakistani uh, administrators and scientists and their uh, uh, defense uh, technicians do, they roam around the globe, uh, scouting for equipment, spare part, and uh, calibration equipment, and fabrication equipment for spare parts and uh, components needed for their long-range missile uh, technology program. Now, under MTC, MTCR, that is Missile Technology Control Regime, which is an internationally binding agreement, uh, no country is supposed to export uh, other country uh, any such equipment or capital machinery which helps the country to fabricate uh, weapons of mass destruction. But Pakistan has been indulging in this kind of practice for last 30, 40 years. This is how they made their first nuclear bomb. This is how they made their uh, uh, long-range missile uh, also. Now, what is required uh, technically is in case any country is exporting any such sensitive technology or equipment to Pakistan, they are supposed to obtain what is called end-user certificate. Um, uh, you see, I also worked in DRDO. India also imports uh, sometimes some equipment from uh, other countries. So we give what is called our senior scientists and Ministry of Defense provides uh, what is called end-user certificate, where we certify 
that use of this equipment or the spare part or the technology uh, was finally done at which place and a record of that is maintained and is produced to international inspectors whenever they want to see but pakistan cleverly uh, has uh, developed many ghost firms uh, many fake firm addresses all over the world especially in hong kong in singapore in abu dhabi and uses these ghost intermediary firms to import such uh, uh, technology which it finally uses for making uh, weapons of mass destruction very very clever ploy by pakistan but finally uh, on uh, various intelligence agencies from world in this case us intelligence agencies they have caught up with this clever ploy of pakistan and have uh, blacklisted all these firms even pakistan scientists will be uh, will come under uh, scrutiny and maybe there uh, some sanctions will be put on them uh, by usa individually so that they cannot travel internationally or definitely those scientists will not be able to travel to uh, usa in future for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon